Hey guys, it's Terrified Taylor here, otherwise known as Taylor. I'm bringing a video with you today with Fire Medic. I'm going to be showing you guys and discussing with you guys how claiming workshops in a public world or even in a private world is not worth it. Um, so I've already claimed the workshop. I've already got all my turrets up and running. All I have to do now is just add power to all of the resource extractors, which I'm about ready to do. So let's do this. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I'm over here at my lead extractor, but the reason why I'm saying that some of these are kind of a waste of time is because the lead extractor only holds 14 pieces of lead and it produces 14 pieces in 30 minutes. I've sat down, timed it. And I decided to give it a couple more, like, minutes to see if maybe, maybe it produces more. And I found out that it does not. So, let's say you get all of this up and running. You have your turrets, all your resource extracting machines down. And then you go out for a couple hours, do some events, you know, maybe make some ammo or something. And then you come back here after two hours. And you come over here to your lead extractor, it's only going to hold 14 pieces. So, once you reach 14 pieces, it stops. It, it doesn't set any lead to the side, none of that. It, it, it'll just stop until you collect it. And then it'll go back and produce more, and you got to wait longer to get more same way with the oil and the oil machine is the same exact way um, and I'm actually gonna show you guys this so for let's say this copper extractor it shows that it only produces 20 an hour but then you know lead it just says it requires 10 power but then you go down to steel, you've got, you know, how much power it requires, but it also tells you what it produces, which is 33 an hour. Oil, lead, it just requires power. It doesn't tell you what the cap is. What the cap is. And to me, that's kind of a little messed up and you know I was like well I'm gonna do some research and that's when I found out that it caps off at 14 and 30 minutes is what it produces so uh, while these are all up and running I'm gonna go ahead and run around here at Grafton Steel and show you guys the amount of loot I get versus what I get from these extractor machines. And that's by killing super mutants, picking up all of their guns and ammo and armor. And I don't know why I said ammo, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Missing something over here. All right. 
Alright, that didn't go over as planned. I'm trying to get these super mittens killed and was being stubborn and didn't listen and ended up giving the flamer instead.
Alright guys, so I've pretty much walked around, looted, killed super mutants, and I'm just going to head back over to my workshop now. The time that I've been going around looting, it has taken me 14 minutes and 38 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead to my Tinker's workbench. I'm going to break all the weapons down Card. that I picked up, as well as put on my scrapper perk. Now what the scrapper perk does is you obtain more components when you scrap weapons and armor. So I'm going to go over here to scrap items scrap all of the weapons that I picked up. And see, each atomic assault rifle that you scrap gives you one raw rubber, I believe, and 20 steel scrap for all of them. So keep that in mind. Now the bonuses that I like about doing this versus claiming workshops is as you see you can also get like as you can see as you're scrapping these weapons you're unlocking plans for that weapon that you didn't know so and it's really convenient as well as you can find a bunch of stem packs lying around you can find a bunch of rataways lying around and if you're a bloody build you can actually turn that rat away into some caps. So I don't have really anything else to scrap. Scrap all your junk. So I'm just gonna break all of my junk down. Alright, okay. let's see how much steel you got. So since this is graft and steel yard, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how much steel I've collected versus how much between the two steel extractors, like how much it produces and all that good stuff. For junk, I've, I've obtained everything I've obtained while looting. I'm sure you missed a lot of stuff in there, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure there are some items in there that I did forget to loot and pick up, but, I mean, I'm just giving you an example here. So I have picked up 335 steel scrap while walking around looting. And about under 15 minutes. Yep. Let's see what the machines produced. Now within those 15 minutes while being gone, this 24. one's already this one's already like produced 24 steel scrap. And the other steel machine has produced should have the same. Yep, should be the same. Yep, 24. So you're looking about 48 steel pieces compared to 335. Now let's look at the oil. How much oil did you make? And so, then see if you picked up any oil. So waste oil, I have only picked up 19. 
while I've been gone, this machine has produced only five. That's another big difference. Let's go look at the land. <clears throat> Now the lead machine has produced 12. It's very really close to the stopping point. Yep. And I've also picked up 12, so you're kind of right around the same amount. I mean, yeah. So. And the copper, you gotta break down, so you gotta use whatever acid you just picked up to, to break it down. So for copper scrap, I was only able to find one and I only picked up three waste acid. So if you were to break that down you're going to use some of your acid. And as you can see here it's seven copper ores and the ores are you know like fire medic said are the kind that you have to use acid to break down. And you so. can use super duper and get any more, but I think, you know, hitting a few places on the map that are good resource spots, you can get way more than what you're going to get from any of these extractors. So, in my honest opinion, I would definitely recommend going around and looting and the best places that we have found for looting is the West Tech Research Research Center, the Robco Research Center, and correct me if I'm wrong but I'm probably gonna butcher the name like always, Garahan Estate and Everybody Hornwright. calls it Graham Estates, I call it Graham but Garahan Estates and Hornwright Estate. And there's a few other places on the map that, you know, you can go to and get a lot of materials as well. But if you really want to live dangerously and you're feeling brave, um, another best place to loot is Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Because not only do you have super mutants, you also have those floaters. And I think you also... You get lead from all the weights. All the ghouls that you kill inside will have weapons and drops. And those uh, floaters that are outside at the penitentiary usually can give you fuel, waste oil, acid, and crystal shards. So to me, I, I much rather would go around the map versus claiming a workshop and risking some random person coming to my workshop contesting everything and destroying it all so and plus you wouldn't have to come back here and defend it all the time either and what we do is we just spend a couple hours a week just doing nothing but looting just go into a private world we hit all these spots and loot or if I'm out and about in the world I'll just pick everything up and I get more from those 15 20 minutes of looting than it, you would from a workshop. So, please can't please take that into consideration. Um, I really do hope you guys like the video. Um, I am working on getting some more content out, and just so we're clear on this, I have noticed the subscriber count and. I know I'm behind on that, and I want to say thank you guys for... Ooh, boogie. Sorry, go ahead. He was wiping his name. Hey, I'm over here trying to spill my heart out oh, and my sorry, emotions sorry. to these people. Well, you're not just any people. I mean, you guys... It's, it, it, it's been a journey, and it's been something that I've been wanting to do since high school. And I just... I'm really happy. I really am. And I wanted to sit down with you guys and thank you for making it possible because I honestly couldn't have done it without you guys. And great, now I feel tears coming on. <laughs> but I promise you guys, there are tears of happiness because I never thought this would have been something I could accomplish on my 
like just in general like I didn't see myself reaching a hundred subscribers and to everybody who's been sticking through it with me and you know all that good stuff and you know sending words of encouragement in the comments you know who you are thank you I really do appreciate it so be sure to like comment and subscribe um, I read every single one and yeah uh, let's see what kind of goofy shenanigans we can get into in the next video later guys